Hello everyone, Mr. Neighbor here, and we're talking about 16.1 sound. This video is going to cover something called harmonics. So harmonics deal with standing waves, which we've already talked about. So remember, a standing wave is when you send a wave of sound, or um, it could be just a physical wave in space, and that wave reflects off something, comes back, and those reflections and that interference pattern uh, match up in such a way that at certain frequencies, it looks like there is just the slit in space. And that wave is essentially just standing there. It's moving, but it looks or appears or sounds like it's standing. So these are called standing waves. So harmonics are what we um, use and uh, work with when we talk about musical instruments. So at the frequency where a sound wave produces a standing wave, musicians can hear beats where the waves pile up. So each harmonic produces a different pitch or note. So when we have a note, say a C note, that note has a certain frequency, a certain number of hertz. Then if we start to vibrate that faster, usually at double the frequency. So if it was at 600 hertz, if we go up to 1200 hertz, you are going to get a C note again, except it's going to be a higher C note. The pitch will have increased. We call this the second harmonic. It would look something like this, where two slits would start to occur. Increase the pitch again. So tripling this first harmonic, which is the fundamental harmonic, the actual C, so it was 600, move it up to 1800 hertz. That would make a third harmonic. The second overtone is another way we could say it. And then that produces three anti-nodes, so three slits. So how does this relate to um, music? So when we have an instrument, say a guitar, and we pluck a string, you can actually harmonic present. You can see the string where it's connected at both ends and you will see the standing wave occur. You will not see the second harmonic. However, it is there. Same thing with the third harmonic. It is there. There are um, sets of frequencies that uh, objects produce and you can kind of chart them. So I'm going to produce a chart here really quick. Okay, I have my chart. So let me explain my chart a little bit. Here I have the different harmonics. So first harmonic, second harmonic, third harmonic, and fourth, fifth, they go up. Um, and then on the y-axis, I have the intensity. So the first harmonic, very, very loud. Second harmonic, not very loud. Third harmonic, less loud. Fourth harmonic, less loud. Fifth harmonic, a little bit louder. So when we have a note on a guitar, it has, um, sorry, a C note. It has a certain diagram to all of its harmon or to all of its um, harmonics intensity, which would be this. So a C note might look like this. Now, on a different instrument, say a piano, a C note, they're all going to have the same frequency. All of these. First harmonic might be 600 frequency, second harmonic 1200 hertz, then 1800 hertz, uh, just going up by multiples. A piano C would have the same frequency, same hertz, same numbers here. However, they're going to have a different pattern. Its pattern might be like this, where the harmonics are not the same intensities. This tells our ears that a different tone or timbre is being played. That's how we can distinguish a C on guitar from a C on piano from a C on a trumpet. Uh, we can tell the different timbres from that. Um, a way to kind of illustrate this is if you do a pitch in your, um, in your mouth to say E and then change that that tone that you're doing, that sound, I should say, um, to be an ah, and then to an ooh. 
what you're doing is you're keeping the same pitch. If you were to measure your pitch on um, a musical device that does that, um, a lot of apps have uh, a way to measure pitch. You would notice that your um, frequency would still stay the same number of hertz. However, you would notice a different sound coming out of your mouth, though, from the E sound to the ah sound to the O sound. It changes your tone. And that tone is changing because the shape of your mouth is changing, which is changing the intensity of certain harmonics. So harmonics are a way to change how we hear sound. They're present always in sound, but different ones are accented uh, depending on the shape of the instrument you're using. Your mouth has many different shapes to that instrument, whereas a guitar or piano, it's only one shape. That's why it's so distinct and why your voice can vary so much.